Have you ever woken up with $150 in your pocket or your bank account that you didn't realize you had? I don't know. Have you ever had $150 and thought maybe I should go to the liquor store and see what kind of drink I can get? What the heck? Let's start a bourbon collection. With $150? Yup. Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven. I'm Alec. And today we are going over starting a bourbon collection with $150. Yep, this is gonna be an interesting video, but before we get into that, please do us a favor, like and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate the follow. Now, let's get back to that video. So, you got $150, you're like, what the heck? Let's spend it on a bourbon collection. So you're starting from ground zero. You ground have zero. no bottles, no nothing. No, no. What should you spend your $150 on to get the best bourbon collection possible? We agreed that roughly around four bottles is kind of that sweet spot where it's like, it starts from being just a few bottles to that's a collection. Correct. So we got $150. We each decided what would be the best four bottles you can get for $150 or less, that would be a great starting out collection. Absolutely. So obviously, us being different people, we approach this a little bit differently. Our lists are completely different. We have none of the same bottles. Nope. So we're gonna run it up with Alec. What is your first bottle that you would buy if you're trying to start a first time collection? Hi. My first bottle is uh, just something to get into your bourbon, but something that's gonna be a little different from maybe a bourbon you've had in the past. This is not your Jack Daniels, okay? This is Maker's 46, okay? This is a weeded bourbon. It's delicious, obviously from Maker's Mark. It's got a lot of really easy flavors, not a ton of proof, but it's just overall a nice bottle to kind of sip on and start to get some appreciation for those notes, for the, the vanilla, for the caramel, for a little bit of that, like really soaking in like thick flavor, you know? And it just brings the mood. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, I think it's a great like starter daily drinker. And my bottle, that's roughly in the same-ish category, my thought process of, what would be a daily drinker? What's the best I can get for basically sub 20? And in my opinion, this might not be the best daily drinker for you, but for me, old granddad, 114. I freaking love this bottle. It is 114 proof for $20 and it is fantastic. It is nutty and it is spicy, but I just love it. It's not overly complex. It's a little single-sided, but it's also 114 proof for 20-ish dollars, which is great if like you need something to make into cocktails or if you still want to like just, you know, get a little drunk on a Tuesday or if you just like higher proof whiskeys like me. Yeah, and honestly, I give them a hard rap for it, but this is a nice bottle to have. Alec, what is your next bottle? All right, bottle number two. This is where we're going to get a little spicy on my side, okay? Whiskey. Whiskey. So I'm gonna go with 1792 full proof. All right. Now 1792 is known for being a little bit of a sweeter bourbon. Yeah. It's got a little bit more of like a fruity, uh, like lighter kind of tone. I think that this bottle is worth grabbing because now you're starting to get into proof, but you're also starting to see how the flavors kind of progress with proof. Yeah, 68%, right? Yeah, 125. Yeah, hitter. Yeah, that's absolutely a lot of proof. hitter. But I think that it really will kind of give you that other side of the spectrum. We're not talking about light and easy and something that you can just sip on. This is something you will appreciate. Yeah, this is basically like um, just fruity, bananas, creamy, has a little bit of nuts in it, but it's overall really great. And honestly, this is probably one of the best bottles you can get for around 40-ish dollars. Yes. And my bottle that I'm gonna follow up with this one is kind of like the crowd pleaser, Woodford Double Oak. This one's just oak. creamy, caramel, vanilla, sweetness, just butterscotch. It's, it's probably the sweetest bourbon I've ever had. It's one of those double oaked ones, so they uh, put it in another toasted another, barrel, yeah. um, which just brings out so much sweetness in the mm -hmm. bourbon, which is fantastic. And especially, I think this one's great for people who are starting out. So if you have any friends who come over who want to try bourbon for the first time, 
or they're like, hey, I wanna get into bourbon. I know you got a bourbon collection now, show me some bourbons. This is a great one to kind of give them and they'll be like, well, that's like Werther's original. Heck right. yeah. All right, so now we've both gone with an easy bourbon and then I went proofy, you oh. went sweet. So now- I, mean, I started off proofy, you went proofy, you know, back and forth, what, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your next bottle? All right, so this one is going to be uh, definitely a little bit of a, shower but also just a really good drinker elijah craig the name has a staple it's delicious it's got a really nice flavor to it if you feel like getting into some of the higher price tags the single barrel the barrel proof they all are just so complex and just so original but elijah craig will always have a good name of bourbon and it will really set a standard if you can get through one bottle you'll know where bourbon's going yeah, yeah, this is like 27-ish dollars or so, and it is really freaking good. We recently ran a review of it, or what I did on my own, uh, and I was left out. this thing is phenomenal. I honestly, I've kind of slept on this for a while. It is amazing. It's herbal, it's spicy, it literally hits everything. I'd like to see in a bourbon mm. under $30 and it's great. And yeah, if you're, if you like this one, you can always move up into a single barrel. Yeah. I've had some insane single barrels and their barrel proofs are out of this freaking world. I've yeah. never had a single bad one. So this is definitely a gold standard for any bourbon list, but my better rendition of that slightly more expensive, but bullet bourbon tenure. This is our favorite 10 year age stated bourbon. And honestly, I absolutely love this thing. It I, is a good yeah, it's spicy, it's floral. It's just super duper complex. Like this is out of my list. This is the one that's the, I'm gonna sit down and tear this thing apart because yeah. it's just, it has everything. In you gotta it. deconstruct yeah. every aspect of it. Yeah, it's a very, very complex bourbon that's really good and it's kind of just a staple that follows like what is bourbon like like what you're saying with elijah craig yeah. this is what bourbon should be like i just think this is a little bit better than the normal elijah craig but again you're like also rocking ten dollars more yeah yeah and higher age statement but yeah overall just a great spicy floral herbal type of bourbon that is really sweet brings in a nice little oak with that 10 year age statement overall great fantastic complex sipper now we've gone through our first three i think steve and i both are kind of getting back to our roots but we're getting to the top of our roots yeah so these are the hitters rare breed rare breed wild drinking product rare breed absolute hitter just everything that you could ever want out of like a bourbon that you want to kind of uh, really just dive into and figure out why they actually create the whole lineup of a product, right? Obviously, when you go into wild turkey regular, you know, you're looking at a $20 or less bottle of bourbon. This bad boy is, what was it, 50 Yeah, it's, it's slightly over 50 It yeah. used to be significantly cheaper. Uh, not starting to get a little bit of price hike here in Arizona, but still, even at like 52-ish, 53-ish dollars, it's, it's just so good. so good. It's so creamy and nutty, and it's got the cinnamon spike, and it's got just this wonderful, beautiful kind of transition that merges together, and it's a great bottle to have a sip on, and it's a great bottle to celebrate with. Yeah, so so the last, the last one for each of us, I think we kind of decided these are like, our favorite of the list yeah. personally yeah. these are like our like friday night like you know we're kind of celebrating the end of the week type bottles or like semi-celebratory right. bottles if you're starting a first collection it might be your celebratory bottle um but my bottle to kind of go up against alex as my last one is gonna be old forester 1920. around the same-ish price, roughly barrel proof. This isn't their barrel proof. It's only like 115. That's yeah, still 115. Not bad. Whereas this, these are typically around 112 to 114. Right. So generally, yeah. within a, like a fraction of proof. difference. And whereas this one's a lot like spicier and kind of like creamier, this one's a lot like lighter, softer banana sweetness. This is like a ban like a caramel banana nut bread or like a banana split it's just so sweet so good and 
that 115 proof just sets it at that right spiciness where it doesn't drink like it's 115, but it brings a flavor that 115 should. But yeah, running all the way down from the bottom uh, or from the top down to the bottom of this list, uh, for me, I think if you add $150, you should get Old Forester 1920, some Bullet 10 year, some Woodford Double Oak, and Old Granddad 114. I think this is the best way you can spend $150 to start a bourbon collection. Absolutely. And for me, we're talking about Rare Breed, Elijah Craig, 1972 Full Proof, Makers 46. These, I'm pretty sure you, that's 1792 Full Proof. Same thing, same thing. Same, same, but same, 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 but same, same. same. But these eight bottles, if you have $300, could be your yeah. collection. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's another video. That, 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 that's going to be way harder. But yeah, uh, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Please do us a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys think about our individual list. Let us know which one you think has a better bourbon collection list. Again, this is off of personal taste, personal awesome. flavor profiles, whatever. Like people get drastically different flavor notes from some bourbon sometimes yeah. or I'm like, you're crazy, dude. There's definitely not that in here, but it is what it is. Welcome to the bourbon community. Yeah, but um, absolutely check us out on Instagram and Facebook and let us know if you have a list of your own and if you think that maybe you would take out a couple bottles from this list and leave the rest, whatever. We like variety. We're here for pleasure. Let's do it, all right? Yeah, but that's a wrap for this video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.